Apple Tools Eyes' test manager is a browser-based tool that gives you access to your visual UI test data and allows you to manage your test results and baselines associated with your tests. Providing a number of pages, the Apple Tools Eyes test manager UI supports a different aspect of your visual UI testing workflow. Seen on the left here are the batch runs, which are test runs organized by batches, making the analysis and management of your test results easier and more convenient. Apple Tools' Eyes also has features that operate on the tests in a batch as a whole, such as filtering, deletion, and grouping by similarity. After you run your Apple Tools Eyes Visual UI tests, you can use the test results page to see the outcome of your test runs and, if necessary, to update the test baselines. Upon running a visual test for the first time, Apple Tools will automatically capture a new screenshot of your application and store it as a baseline image. Eyes will compare the baseline image with the checkpoint image using Visual AI to easily detect any differences in a large batch of tests or a test with multiple steps. You can view the checkpoint and baseline images by clicking show both in the view options drop down. Upon a test failure, you can determine if the baseline image should be updated to the checkpoint image or remain the same by using the accept or reject buttons. By clicking accept, you will be updating the baseline to include the checkpoint image and essentially pass the test. While clicking reject results in having your previous baseline image continue to be used for future regression runs and failing the test. In Apple Tools Eyes, the admin team's view displays information about the teams currently associated with the logged in user's account. The features on this view allow you to create new teams, remove teams, and access a team's team information view, allowing you to define the users, access rights, and other properties of the team. To create a new team, simply click on the add a new team icon on the teams view. Type in a name for the team and click add. The team will appear in the list of teams. To add team members, make sure you're on the members tab and click in the user to add field. From here, you can now type in the name of an existing user and click add or type in the email address of a new user and click add. Apple Tools will automatically save your new changes to the team. The Apple Tools Eyes Test Manager allows you to add remarks to a step or test result. Adding remarks to a step is done through either the step editor or the test editor. And adding remarks to a test result is done in the test results table. When adding a remark to a specific test result, you can also direct it to a team member and follow the remark thread. For this example, we'll be adding remarks to a test result. Click add remark in the actions column next to the relevant test result. Add a title for the remark in the title text box of the add a remark dialog. Type your remark into the message box. To send the remark to a team member, type their name in the body of the remark. As you type a name, Apple Tools' eyes test manager filters the drop down list to show you team members that match the text string. Click the team member's name on the list. Now you can track the remark conversation by clicking the follow box. Enabling this option allows Apple Tools Eyes to send an email notification when another user updates the remark. Finally, click post to publish the remark. Now when you close the remark text box, you can see the add a remark icon in the actions column is now highlighted in blue. You can also open bugs from within the Apple Tools Eyes test manager. To do so, open either the test editor or step editor. Then click the icon to open the create issue dialog. Using the bug region button, highlight the bug area and write in the title of the bug and click create. Type your description of the bug and click post. Clicking the fail test option will fail all future tests that include that bug. And you can even snooze the future failures until a specified date by clicking the snooze failure option and specifying a date on the calendar. By clicking the share button, the link to your issue will be copied to your clipboard, allowing for easy sharing. When you close the step editor, your issue can now be seen in the test results dashboard. Alternatively, you can even integrate with Jira or Rally for a more formal bug report. Apple Tools Eyes is extremely flexible and allows you to utilize multiple match level comparison algorithms for different portions of your screenshot. You can add these annotations in either the test editor or step editor. You can add your annotation to either the baseline or checkpoint screenshots. They will have the same effect. To apply an annotation, click the box from the annotations toolbar to open the regions menu. Choose the type of comparison you'd like and draw an outline around the region where you'd like this comparison applied. After you select a region, a dialog opens and allows you to apply the region to other similar steps. As you can see, the available regions are Ignore, which allows you to ignore a region of your screenshot, Floating, which indicates an area of the application that may shift a bit due to variations in the data it presents, Strict, which is the default match level and will do a typical Apple Tools comparison. Content, which will ignore the colors of the screenshot and only verify the content. 
and layout, which allows you to verify dynamic content by comparing the structure of the page versus the actual content of it. Apple Tools Eyes' automated test maintenance provides you with a powerful set of features that significantly reduce your test maintenance overhead when you have many tests and tests that are run across multiple operating systems, browser types, device types, and screen sizes. By using Apple Tools Eyes' automated test maintenance, you can check steps across multiple tests and environments in a fraction of the time required to achieve the same result manually. The automated test maintenance features work by identifying and grouping steps that have similar differences in their checkpoint images, as well as replicating maintenance actions across all relevant steps within a batch. The maintenance actions include grouping steps by similar differences, accepting and rejecting unresolved matches, applying, modifying, and deleting baseline regions and steps. In order to execute this, you can click the Steps in Current Batch option. For this test, you can see the different colored GitHub logos, and we can use the content region for help. Now we can accept our test, and you see the change has been applied to all similar tests in this batch, marking them as passed. In contrast, for this test, you can see the GitHub logo is missing in the checkpoint image, so the test will be marked as failed. Again, notice how the change has been applied to all similar tests and marking them as failed. By clicking the Group by Similar Differences button, you can now see that all the tests in this batch have been split into two groups, Passed and Failed. The Branch Baselines page shows information about the baselines in a branch and provides tools to manage these baselines. Branch Baselines allow you to delete baselines, copy baselines to another branch, and view the history and results of a test run on that baseline. Apple Tools' Root Cause Analysis feature, also known as RCA, provides insights into the causes of visual mismatches reported by Apple Tools Eyes. When a test fails, you can inspect the reason behind the failure by clicking the RCA icon then clicking the difference on the screenshot that you'd like to evaluate. This will show you the exact root cause of the failure, namely the changes made within the DOM or CSS. Given this, developers are able to narrow down the issue without a ton of debugging. If your application has multiple valid variations, you can save and manage them within your test results. For example, if you are conducting A-B testing on a page, when your test fails because of the different variation, you can click the A-B icon, then click Create New to add this variation to your valid baseline images. This will open a prompt which will allow you to name this variation, then click Create. Notice now you have two valid baselines stored. In future regression runs of this test, if your checkpoint image matches either of these baselines, your test will pass. There is no limit to the number of baseline variations you can add, and you can manage them all right here within the AB view of the test editor by hovering over the variation. For example, to rename a variation, click the pencil icon and change the name. And to delete a variation, click the trash can icon. The Apple Tools' Contrast Advisor assists you with your accessibility testing efforts by detecting the contrast ratio of your application. To view this, click on the accessibility icon and an accessibility test will be performed. Once completed, Apple Tools Eyes automatically identifies the textual or graphical type of each element of a checkpoint, measures the contrast ratio, and reports elements with contrast ratios that are below the minimum specified for that type of element. Hover over any of the violations to see more information about the failure. For example, for regular text, the web accessibility guidelines recommend at least a 4.5 for expected contrast. However, the actual contrast is only 3.19. You can switch between the AA and AAA levels by clicking the AA or AAA level button here. In addition, you can also switch between the two web content accessibility guidelines, which consist of the 2.0 and 2.1 versions. Notice the increase in violations within the AAA level and the 2.1 version. If required, you can override the automatic detection of element type and specify the element type explicitly or define that contrast ratios should not be tested for a given element or region. To do so, click the Accessibility Region button and select the region or text you'd like to override. Select the Ignore option and click Apply to all other steps in scope. For more detailed information, check out our thorough documentation at appletools.com.